In this video, we'll discuss the difference between the refresh and restore operations and teach you when to use each. The difference can be briefly summarized like this. You restore a storage resource when you want to make that object go back in time. You refresh a storage resource when you want to update the data on that object. Now we'll go into a bit more detail about what that means, how to do it, and give you an example of when you would use each function. First, let's talk about restoring, which is the most commonly used. You would restore a storage resource when you want to revert the data to a previous point in time. You can only restore storage resources from a snapshot. Also, the snapshot that you use to restore the storage resource must be directly related to the storage resource. For example, you can't use snapshot 1 to refresh the second volume because that snapshot is outside of the family hierarchy of the second volume. To restore a storage resource, first navigate to the storage resource in Power Store Manager, select the checkbox next to the resource, then from the More Actions drop-down list, select Restore from Snapshot. Then select the snapshot that you want to use to restore the data. You can use this operation to bring a volume back to a point in time before corruption happens. Next, let's talk about refreshing storage resources. You would refresh a storage resource when you want to update the data on the storage resource. You can use data from a thin clone or a related snapshot to refresh the data. In the refresh operation, only snapshots of thin clones can be used to refresh the storage resource. To update the data on a storage resource from a direct child snapshot, use the restore operation instead. To refresh a storage resource with the data from a thin clone, first navigate to the storage resource in Power Store Manager. Select the checkbox next to the resource, then from the More Actions drop-down list, select Refresh from Related Volume. Then select the thin clone that you want to use in the refresh. You can also refresh a storage resource with a related snapshot by selecting a storage resource, then clicking the Protection tab. Select the checkbox next to the snapshot, then from the More Actions drop-down list, select Refresh Using Snapshot. You can provision thin clones for developers to work on while preserving the data on the source volume. Then you can use the Refresh operation to merge the developer's changes back into the source volume. For more information and help with other aspects of your PowerStore system, visit the PowerStore documentation page at dell.com slash PowerStoreDocs.